So, <clears throat> my final observation on this, I think we're good. Uh, we're gonna add some of that. That's, there's still some oil that's uh, burning. I mean, the, if uh, you watch the original video here, or the initial video, there's quite a lot of oil that was gathered up on that. I really did try to clean that out. Uh, put a fuel screen in, put a shutoff valve in. Um, when I when I got this, um, one of the first things that I noticed was that the gas can was like bone dry. So it either leaked out on the ground or leaked out on the intake. The intake was stuck on this. I did lap the valves on uh, both the exhaust and the intake valve here. Uh, I changed the oil because the oil smelled a little bit tainted. I did look at the carburetor. I took the carburetor apart. Uh, there was a little bit of dirt in there, not a whole lot. Uh, the you know this whole front end was just smeared with uh, with the oil though. So and I mean you can see it all along the chassis here. Uh, it was it was pretty bad. So uh, I tried to clean up as much oil as I could. It doesn't seem like it's spitting oil. You do have a little bit of surging. Uh, it's fuel related or carburetor related. Uh, could be something in the gas tank too. I didn't see anything, but um, the uh, uh, I put 10W. It's 10W30 in here, uh, and hopefully, you know, whatever's whatever's left on that uh, that that can uh, uh, dissipates. That muff can uh, burns off. Uh, recapped the spark plug. The, ga the spark plug was 35 thousandths. I set it to 30 thousandths. Uh, put a gasket in the in the head and in the valve as well. Uh, adjusted the valves out uh, to the specs. It's 0.004 or four uh, on the uh, on the intake and uh, 0 0.006 on the exhaust there. Uh, so right in between, it's supposed to be between 0 0.005 and 0 0.007 on the exhaust and 0 0.03 and 0 0.05 on the intake. I always try to set it in the middle if I can. Took a little while, but we got it. We got it dialed in there. Uh, highly recommend that you uh, change and check your uh, air filter frequently. Uh, that is that is one of the biggest killers uh, besides getting gas into your oil from. Uh, from uh, uh, the uh, float getting stuck in the carburetor on these and uh, flooding the in or flooding the crankcase with with, uh, with gas, always, 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 always check your oil before you run it. <clears throat> um, and uh, honestly, I you know after a couple hours of running it, I would check it again anyways. Make sure it's not burning oil. Uh, make sure that it doesn't smell like gasoline is in the oil. Um, you'll get a uh, a few more seasons out of this and uh, if i didn't say it the the drive belt feels like it's slipping i'm 200 pounds so uh i mean i don't have a very large hill but you could kind of feel it slipping uh, as you were trying to go uphill so that's an indication that your drive belt's probably uh probably bad and then uh you know after each use i highly recommend that you shut this valve off um that way uh, you can mitigate some of those uh, issues where gravity is pushing down on this and if your needle gets stuck inside your float your uh, your carburetor doesn't uh, flood with uh, gasoline or I mean your intake your crankcase doesn't flood with gasoline uh, yeah so and just to, you know I would tell you if you got a pressure washer take a pressure washer clean this up uh, try to get as much oil off there you know I would focus more like down here along the bottom uh, and, and where you want to keep an eye at is you always want to keep an eye for oil here. If you see oil spitting out your exhaust like that, like what was occurring, you need to need to stop using the unit. Uh, you know, that means your valve is getting hung up or your uh, head gasket blew uh, or both in this case. Uh, once, your, once your head gasket is undermined and it's pushing oil out into the intake, uh, it's got to find a place to go. So. You see that much oil slathered up. Oh, I see that headlight did fall out. I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna it's kind of a bad area, but they ran it they ran it it's so hot that they're uh I don't think that's gonna stay and you can kind of see the housings melted there anyways, but uh and that's because they put those hot light bulbs in there. Um Yeah, other than that, I mean it mows. Uh, I don't know how uh how hard you run it, but uh, 
I think you'll get uh, another couple seasons out of it if you uh, maintain it and take care of it and uh, go from there.